Hey WC, I'm Andrew Lawrence and I'm here with Mr. O'Rourke to talk about the winter play. What is the winter play about this year? Well, the winter play this year is a play called The Little Prince. It's based on a French children's fable that uh, is pretty famous all around the world. And it talks about what it means to have an imagination of a child and what people lose as they become grown-ups. They lose the ability to imagine and play and the things that start to become valuable to them are things like money and their business and their jobs. And when you're a kid, none of that seems to matter. And this is a play that discusses the difference between those two things. Uh, I will be playing the little prince. Um, and he basically embodies the uh, childhood of um, the character that the story follows. Um, and it's just how he has lost that and now he's regaining kind of his childhood. Oh, what can we expect from the play this year? Well, it's very different than anything we've done before. Uh, the main character loves to draw things. We have an ensemble of about 12 people. Um, they'll have note, like large notepads um, with things drawn on them, and they will form together to make larger drawings or to embody a sunset or stars. And so it's just very dynamic and um, different from anything that we've done here at WC pretty much before. Uh, I've never done a play before, never done anything like this, and so I just tried out and uh, got the uh, one of the two leads, so I mean, I'm excited to do this. And Probably the most um, melancholy character I've played. Um, he's, he's a bit sad, um, and so that's refreshing for me to do something different like that. What inspired you to do this play this winter? It's very different than anything we've done before. The style is different. It's a children's story, but it has a lot of themes that are important to adults. Um, the set is different. The, it's considered a fantasy play because the little prince comes from another planet. Uh, he meets with a fox who becomes his best friend. Uh, he meets with a guy who's an aviator who's crash landed in the Sahara Desert. I mean, it's a I'm the uh, aviator in the uh, school play, so I'm basically, ha like I'm the narrator, kind of. I mean, it's a lot of crazy things that have come together to make this play, and the best part is that it all seems to work. What kind of audience is the play directed towards this year? Well, this, like I said, it's a children's story, but um, the way you look at it, it means a lot more to adults based on some of the themes. You know, some WC the should come see this play because the way uh, Mr. Work is uh, is creating this is it's just it's simple, but it's like so complicated, and it's it, it, it's like a mix between between those two, and it's it's really good and really just almost abstract almost, and um, and just uh, it makes you think, you know, because uh, I know a lot of us. Uh, I'm a senior, so going off to college next year and stuff like that, and. Uh, it, uh, it once you get in touch with your childhood almost. So. The imagery, some of the symbolism, that's stuff that the kids may not get at, even though they'll enjoy watching the story. The classic 614 area code has run out of numbers, and a new area code, 380, will launch as an overlay this Saturday, January 30th, according to the Columbus Dispatch. If you get a new phone after the 30th, your number will begin with a 380 instead of 614 for those who live in the greater Columbus area. If you already have a 614 number, it won't be changed unless you get a new phone number. Make sure to go through all your contacts and add in any missing area codes, because after the 30th, all phone numbers will require all 10 digits. Special services that use three number digits, such as 911 and 411, will remain unchanged. Hey, Dub C, this has been Dave O'Rourke, signing off.